So here we have Ashton Road. So Ashton Road is approximately quarter to half a mile from the Glass Outen Junction 32 Escape Leisure and Retail Complex. Uh, so within the five to 10 minute walk. And it's also within a few hundred meters of Smorthorn Henry Moore Primary School and uh, around about a 10 minute walk into the Castleford Town Centre. So it's got a small forecourt garden, park it on the street. So small graveled garden here. The into the house through a composite door. Into the lounge. So the lounge has a gas living fl flame fire. Pep There's a small inner lobby with stairs to the first floor, which we'll have a look at in a minute. And then another door into the dining room. The dining room has currently got a ensuite shower room uh, built in in the corner, which I'll have a look inside. So, as you can see, it's got a, it's effectively a wet room uh, with a toilet and sink and basin. That could be quite easily removed, it's just stud walls, so it could be removed if somebody wants to uh, make a slightly larger dining room. So there's a fly fireplace and uh, it has a chimney breast, it is blocked off as you can see at the moment. So we have French doors out into the back garden, courtyard garden, and then we'll have a walk through to the kitchen. So it's a fitted kitchen, space for a tumble dryer and washing machine. There's an integrated oven, electric oven and a gas hob. Plenty of work surfaces. and space for a fridge freezer, upright fridge freezer, just there. Okay, so we'll have a look outside in the courtyard garden. So we've got an exit door here. So this is currently paved and decked. So you've got a, a decked patio area and also a substantial shed at the rear. can see there's a, a back access lane, plenty of greenery around, some nice playing fields just to the left down there and you can see Castleford Town Centre in the distance. So there's potential here to make off-road parking. As you can see next door has actually put a garage into their back, uh, back area and quite a few of the houses down here have done the same. Plenty of potential for off-road parking. <laughs> so now we'll take a look on the first floor. So you've got stairs to the first floor. And to the front is the master bedroom. There's also a walk-in wardrobe storage cupboard in the corner there as you can see we 
plenty of room for a, a good size bed. I believe that's a king size. So you've got a landing hallway, a door here into the second bedroom, so it's a good double size. which also has a cupboard which houses the central heating boiler. It's a glowworm combination boiler. So we'll continue now down the hallway. find the family bathroom. The family bathroom consists of a P-shaped bath with a main shower over, fully tiled around the bath area. In fact, it's fully tiled throughout and also tile floors and also a vanity hand basin that's got built-in cupboards around and a low-level WC, push button WC. So into the third bedroom. This is a single room. Plenty of room for a single bed though. Which overlooks the rear. A quick look outside. You can see the aspect and see the location actually. It's very close to the Asda Glass Outen Superstore. So that's right at the rear. Uh, far enough away not to be bothered by the cars. Uh, but an easy walk uh, to pick up your groceries etc and it's um, pretty much south facing uh, so we're around about middle of the day now as you can see plenty of sunshine in the back uh, so i believe it's southwesterly facing